When something bad happens or even your sin, your condemnation and you hold on to it for the first few months, the problem is this, is after those few months that starts to hold on to you. And most people that I meet, they first hold on to something bad that happened to them hold on to the guilt and shame and and just these words people spoken over them hold on to their past or hold on to certain things that have happened in their life they hold on to it because it's so dear because it seems so right because it feels a relief and after a while they say you know what I think I'm ready to go but now these things are holding on to them and they cannot let it go without divine intervention and today we are here to let every single person know you don't have to hold on to your past you don't have to hold on to your sin you don't have to hold on to your addiction you don't have to hold on to your shame you don't have to hold on to your guilt and you don't have to hold on to your bitterness you don't have to hold on to anything and if something is holding on to you you have a name that is bigger than any other name he, he, he disconnected donkey so the donkey can be used by Jesus he can disconnect you today for the glory of God it may be something as small as fear at night it may be something as big as suicidal thoughts that you cannot shake off it may be something as big as the abuse when you are a little child and is still hovering over your life and pushes you to immorality but I have a news for you at the Good News Church. Jesus Christ still sets the captives free and if you are a captive he has freedom for you. Somebody say yes. Somebody say amen. So Jesus is able to do that.